Manga is visual picture storytelling through line. Newspapers, satire, comics, and comes together and forms a new form that we now know as manga. It has inspired all stars like One Piece, Dragon Ball, Naruto. It has inspired a generation of boys. It goes from right to left, starting up here, and then you work your way down, and you come over here, and you follow the pictures. I've been drawing manga since I was in elementary school. So, in a way, for me, like the, my childhood came back. The History of Japanese Manga Manga are original Japanese comic books that have a solid niche of followers from all around the world. Japanese manga creators conform to a particular style of artwork creation developed in the late 19th century. The storylines of the comic books tackle a broad range of genres such as action-adventure, romance, comedy, drama, science fiction, and fantasy. Manga plays a huge part in the Japanese publishing industry and isn't showing any signs of slowing down. What is the history of manga in Japan? How did manga start? And how did it evolve to achieve the global influence it has today? Before we answer these questions, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are uploaded. With a long history deeply rooted in the rich Japanese art, manga is one of the most fascinating phenomena in Japan and the whole world. Part of the okatu, nerd culture, these comics have been a major player in the country's publishing industry, creating a robust market, reaching millions of readers of all ages, and influencing a number of works of comic book art in a variety of other nations. From history to teenage romance, to futuristic science fiction and profound themes of life, Manga became an important, almost inevitable aspect of Japan's identity and helped spread knowledge and understanding of it across the planet. Focusing on a creative, unique aesthetic and alluring narratives, they often evolve into anime and even cosplay, remaining constantly popular within their ever-growing community and collectors. The origin of manga may date back all the way to 12th century scrolls, but many dispute this because of the left-to-right reading style of manga comic books. Modern manga as we know it has been historically and culturally influenced by two factors. Pre-war, Meiji and pre-Meiji, Japanese culture and arts, and the events following World War II. In Japanese, the term manga can refer to all kinds of cartooning, comics, and animation, as it is composed of two kanji, mon, meaning whimsical or impromptu, and ga, meaning pictures. This is why, historically speaking, there could be many early examples referring to the aesthetics and narratives used in modern-day manga. Outside Japan, manga is used to describe comics only, while anime covers cartoons and animated comics of many kinds. Anime is usually, but not always, the animated version of manga. Manga before World War II the word manga was first coined in 1798 by Santo Kaioden's Shiki no Yuki Kai, or Seasonal Passers-By. But in 1814, the artist Katsuchika Hokuzai was the first to use the word manga as the title for his sketchbooks titled Hokusai Manga. During the rise of Japanese imperialism, the Japanese empire used manga for spreading propaganda about the benefits of Japanese leadership. But after the war, everything changed. The first manga is Chochu Giga, which means Scrolls of Frolicking Animals. This series, which dates back to the 12th and 13th centuries, depict animals like frogs and rabbits. The pictures were drawn by several artists in a style not dissimilar to the comics of today, particularly the way the legs were made to appear as if they were running. Alternatively, you could define the original manga as the first works consumed on a large scale. This would mean that that honor goes to Toba Eon. Published in the 18th century, the book featured pictures with an accompanying story about the lives of regular people during the Edo period, 1603 to 1867. The very first manga magazine, Ipoban Nipponchi, was published in 1874 by Kanagagi Rubon and Kawanabi Keosai. It was likely influenced by the pioneering Japanese magazine, The Japan Punch, which was published between 1862 and spring 1887 by Charles Wergman. Ishiban Nipponchi did not have initial success and was discontinued after only three issues. 
it was followed by Kisho Shinbun in 1875, Mero Mero Chinbun in 1877, and Garakuda Chimpo in 1879. The pre-war manga works were a mixture of elements, especially words and images. The words were synonyms to social and economic needs of pre-war Japan and Japanese nationalists, while the images were largely associated with Chinese graphic art. After World War II, manga was shaped by U.S. culture, derived from television, film, cartoons, and comic books. Rise of Modern Manga Following World War II, Japan found itself under the occupation of the United States. This was an important event in the development of manga. The Americans brought their own comics and cartoons, such as Disney Works, Mickey Mouse, Betty Boop, and Bambi to the Country, thus leaving an impression on the manga Kata B. The Japanese artists subsequently gave life to their own style, primarily within newspapers and magazines which sought readership, and these then evolved into dedicated weekly and monthly comic magazines, which carried a collection of about 10 or 20 series installments per edition. Among the first and to date most successful manga artists, there were Osama Tezuka who created the famous Astro Boy, as well as Machiko Hazagawa with his Sazi-san. Tezuka, known as the god of manga and godfather of anime, invented the distinctive large eyes, prominent in both fields. Astro Boy, for instance, embodies the aesthetic, and as such it quickly became and remained immensely beloved in Japan and elsewhere. On the other hand, the anime adaptation of Hasegawa Sawe-san drew more viewers than any other anime on Japanese television in 2011. Evolution of Manga Over time, manga evolved to encompass every genre. At the same time, the stories became deeper and more complex. Instead of simple comic strips, manga turned into entire books, sometimes a series consisting of as many as 20 books. Adults now read manga on subjects as diverse as history and politics, relationships, and spirituality. Manga for children is often not just fun, but also educational. Manga's global fan base has expanded since the 1990s, often introduced by the imported subtitle anime versions of beloved series like Dragon Ball Z, Death Note, Sailor Moon, and of course, Pokemon. Original feature-length anime like the Studio Ghibli films, also paved the way to mainstream popularity. And companies like Tokyo Pop, founded in 1997, and Crunchyroll sprung up to translate and distribute works for non-Japanese audiences. Today, the international spread of aspects of manga culture like toys, video games, cosplay, and its echoes across art, music, and fashion show that manga just might be getting started. Manga remains an important aspect of Japanese culture today. Although it may be trendy in other parts of the world to some extent, nothing compares to its popularity in Japan. As well as seeing people reading manga in practically every public space, you'll see its influences in every facet of pop culture, which covers everything from anime and video games to collectible figures. That's it for today. Don't forget to smash that like button and share this video with your friends. And tell us what you want to see next in the comments section below.